What's up YouTube? Hey guys, it's No Balance here, and in this video I'm breaking down some defensive strategies to help you guys better prepare for NHL 14. Let's get at it. The first defensive strategy I'm going to go over is collapsing. The main objective with collapsing is to let nothing through and most importantly, cover the slot. The main advantage to using collapsing over the other two strategies is simply the fact that you can block shots with much ease rather than the other strategies. As you can see, all my guys are in the lower part of the ice. I have the four guys right there and I have the one guy behind the net. They're, none of my guys are even near the points or at the top of the slot. They're only worried about one thing and that is a slot. Take this clip for example, as you're about to see, Dustin Brown tries to bring it to the slot, but all my guys collapse on him as the point name of the strategy. Basically, the goal in mind with collapsing is to cover the, the important areas of the ice, and that is the slot, and to give no room in those areas. The disadvantage with collapsing is simply the fact that the point is usually always open, and the upper part of the slot is usually open too, so be on the lookout for that. The next defensive strategy I'm going to talk about is tight point. Tight point is all about putting pressure on those defensemen and causing unnecessary turnovers. The idea of it is to give your opponent no room to breathe. As you're about to see here, even though Alverson is not in a typical tight point formation, he's still very aware of the point man. So you see when he passes over to his side of the ice, Alverson does attempt to block a shot. So typically, even though he's not in the best position at the time, he's still very well aware of his point man. Tight point provides consistent pressure to those D-men, just being on the lookout for anything in the slot because unlike collapsing, the slot air is not the main focus of tight point. The final strategy I'd like to break down is staggered. Staggered, in my opinion, is the hybrid of the defensive strategies. It has a little bit of collapsing in it and a little bit of tight point. The reason I say this is because with staggered, you're still able to cover the points, you're still able to cover the mid to high slot, and of course you're still able to block shots as if you were with the strategy collapsing. That is why it's my favorite strategy to use, simply because it gives you a little bit of everything. In my opinion, if you're pretty solid defensively, I would go with staggered. If you have a key issue like stopping one times in front of the net, or blocking shots, or even having trouble with the points, I would go with collapsing or tight point because they help you with more specific needs rather than staggered. That's it for this video guys, be sure to check me out on the Virgin Gaming live stream every Thursday at 8pm Eastern, be sure to follow me on Twitter, and of course look up the write up on this video, I'll put all that in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time, peace.